It is time finally for our Blue Botswana agates to go into step number three. We've been doing this for so long and we are this close to the finish, I cannot wait. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at these rocks. So you can already see with the grid on them that most of them are looking pretty smooth. I mean, this guy right here, not really, but the rest of them are looking pretty good. All right, let's rinse them off. Ooh, they are looking so good. They're feeling super silky, they're looking really good, and they are definitely ready to move on to step number three. Oh, I cannot believe we are getting so close to finally finishing these Blue Botswana agates. All right, so let's get these back in the tumbler and get them into their soapy bath. Actually, I'm gonna carry this grit on to step four, so I will be putting it into the tumbler so that we can wash it along with the rocks so that if any remaining grit is stuck in all of these tiny little spots, they will be washed clean. All right, I poured back some of the water. It's kind of crazy. Some of these are super, super tiny and others are really big, but let's add our borax mixture to our barrel. So we will add two scoops of borax and let it tumble overnight. And one and two. Also, I have really been enjoying using the borax for the cleaning stage. I've noticed like a way better clean when I use the borax as compared to the dish soap and the ivory soap method. All right, see you in a day. All right, these have been tumbling in their cleaning solution actually for a couple of days. So let's take a look at how clean they are after their wash cycle. And here we go. I love how the bubbles look after you do the wash cycle too. It's just like so thick and gooey. All right, that water is looking pretty good. Ooh. Okay, so we'll rinse them off here a little bit. And honestly, I think they are looking pretty great. You can really even start to see the shine that they have on them now. I am so excited that we're finally moving these on to step three. I'm going to make sure that I clean this barrel out really well, especially along this little ledge here to make sure that no grit is remaining in our barrel. Okay, so these are feeling so silky and so smooth. I love the way that they feel after their wash cycle. And look at this one. The banding is really showing on this side, which we could not see before. So kind of cool. And this side has some eye agates on it. So I'm really glad that we did end up tumbling them so long because a lot of little hidden details really have kind of shown their true colors in our rocks. Okay, so I rinsed these off really well. Let's get them put back in our barrel and add step three. And as we do this, I do just really wanna thank you guys so much for following along on this journey. It has been such a long time coming. And for those of you who have stuck around this whole time or who are just joining us now, I really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun to kind of hear your guys' advice and different thoughts about kind of what we should do in either keeping them or moving them on and I've taken a lot of tips and tricks from you guys in the comments on how to make my tumbling even better so I really appreciate it. I did go ahead and use the same ceramic media from step two that I'll be using in step three. Really it's probably best practice to use new ceramic media every time but I only have a little bit left here and I did not have enough to do a whole new set of ceramic media and to be honest I've never really had too much trouble with it transferring so I think it'll be just fine. I will add a little bit more here though just to get the level back up and okay just the rest of it I guess. <laughs> Can't forget the well, I guess not the most important, but one of the most important parts, some water in there. Okay, so here's our step three, 500 aluminum oxide. This stuff does get really fine, so I try not to like talk or breathe when I use it just because I don't want to inhale it, but here we go. All right, so we have our grit in here. We are going to put our lids back on and then we will tumble this for another week in grit three. See you in another week for the final polish.